What's up everyone, it's the Extremely Sick Q from Retro Q Gaming, and I have great news. Uh, news that I have specifically been trying to chase after for weeks at this point, but it's finally out there. So, Square Enix have announced today in their new Active Time report, uh, obviously it's only in Japanese, but if you have a quick Google, you can actually find people who have been translating it and all at the time. So, the most important stuff is I was curious... Because we all know that the director, Hajime Tabata, had said that Final Fantasy XV is going to support PS4 Pro. Now, the reason why I mention this is I was very worried about Final Fantasy XV. So if you've played any of the demos, let's say the most recent demo, the Platinum demo, as well as what we've been told the current state of the game is, or at least what it's going to be at retail... We've been told that it's going to use a dynamic frame buffer that's going to be... Um, now, this is specifically aiming at the PS4 version, but it's going to be a dynamic frame buffer, usually around 1080p, sometimes a little bit less, and it's going to target 30 FPS. But the game has been said, as well as has been experienced in the demo, struggles to maintain anywhere near 30 FPS 99% of the time. So, that's pretty bad. And that had me really, really worried about it. So even though he had said that the, the P Final Fantasy XV was going to utilize the PS4 Pro improved hardware, I've been curious and trying to chase up and trying to find out what the actual benefits for the PS4 Pro actually were. Now, they have said what they are today. So there are going to be two modes for the PS4 Pro in Final Fantasy XV. One of them will be 4K, 30 FPS. Now, one thing about this is I can't find anywhere because of translations and all as well. We'll wait to see until the official announcement comes out, if, if they even give the full details. But it does say 4K targets 30 FPS. It's un, unconfirmed if it's going to be native 4K. To be honest, I doubt it will be. I, I'd say it will be somewhere in between using the checkerboard rendering and then upscaling. And obviously, I, I don't think that will keep a rock-solid 30 FPS the entire time. I think it will be more 30 FPS than the base PlayStation 4. Now, this is just my opinion, my guess. So, we'll see how it goes anyway. There's obviously... It, it, there's a while for all this to actually be hammered out. I mean, the game isn't out for another 19 days. The game does release on November 29th on PS4 and Xbox One. So, I mean, there's still nearly three weeks away for all the actual details to come out and be translated to English and the tech specs and all that. And I want to talk about the other mode as well, the other PS4 Pro mode that is the reason why I'm buying a PS4 Pro as early as I am. I'm going to be buying it probably before the end of this month, maybe at the very start of next month. So the reason why is Final Fantasy XV has another PS4 Pro mode, whereas if you play the game in 1080p, you get 60 frames per second. So I have a 1080p TV. Obviously, I have a higher resolution monitor, but I play my games on my big 50-inch TV. Uh, I play my consoles, I should say, on my 50-inch TV, and that's a 1080p screen. So, I am definitely getting a PS4 Pro for Final Fantasy 15. Now, there's one other thing I do want to say is even the fact that I'm getting, I'm going to be getting my PS4 Pro within the next couple of weeks at this point. I know Final Fantasy, I've already paid for it and I'm getting the Ultimate Collector's Edition. It'll ship for the end of the month on the 29th or so, or for the 29th, I should say. But there's one thing I will say is they have announced that the, the patch for the PS4 Pro improved features, the 1080p 60fps feature, as well as the 4k 30fps feature, is not a day one patch. It's not included with the game. It's not a day one patch. It is coming in an, a further future content update, a free content update from what I understand, at some point in December. So remember, Final Fantasy 15 does ship, or does launch, on November 29th, but this, this patch for the PS4 Pro improved 1080 60 and 4K30, this patch will not be available until at some point in December. There's no date. It hasn't said if it's early, late, or mid, or whatever in December. It just says it will be at some point in December. So don't go straight out and get yourself a PS4 Pro and get yourself Final Fantasy 15 on day one expecting this straight away. Remember, it, it's not going to have these features until December. 
personally, I'm really happy about this because I was very worried about the performance of Final Fantasy 15. The quality of the game is a whole other story. I'm very worried about that too. But th this is very reassuring. Now, uh, is it going to be a rock solid 1080p 60? No, I doubt it. It'll probably drop to 50s or sometimes even the, the high 40s in an extremely extensive graphical setting or graphical environment, if you will. But it's it's very, I mean, comparing this to, that's much more favorable to a game that hangs around in the mid-20s 99% of the time. So I'm definitely, definitely excited about that. If I didn't get a PS4 Pro because of Final Fantasy XV, I would have actually delayed it until some point f way, way into next year by the time I get a 4K TV. At least this way I'll also be ready for when I do upgrade to a 4K TV, which I do plan on doing at some point next year. On top of all that anyway, the only thing I will say, if you are were worried about the performance, the dynamic frame buffer and the actual frame rate of Final Fantasy XV, now is this is reassuring you, it's out of the way, you're a bit more safe. So even though the game has stupidly 16, I believe it is 16, separate pre-order DLCs, which is absolutely retarded, and... The performance issues, the numerous delays, the worrying quality of the game. This will assuade some of those anyway until until the game finally releases. The game is out, like I said, in three weeks. We do have plenty of time to actually see what it's going to be like when it actually releases at long last. So I know I'm I'm happy about that. I'm getting I'm gonna get the PS4 Pro sometime between I once my ultimate collector's edition arrives, it's gonna be a bit of a struggle to not play it for I don't know, depending on the money at the time, like maybe a week or maybe two weeks, or maybe I won't even need to wait. I don't know. But uh yeah, it um I might try hold off to the ten eighty P sixty patch before I before I actually start playing it. So let me know in the comments section below if you're excited for this, if you're excited for Final Fantasy 15, if you're excited for the PS4 Pro's effect on Final Fantasy 16, because obviously, but jumping up to 1080p 60fps or 4K 30fps is pretty important. We'll see what the actual exact specs on or the exact technical details on it are, but let me know anything related to the PS4 Pro and Final Fantasy 15. Are you worried about it? Or is, is this put all your worries to bed? Whatever it is, in the comments section below. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. You can follow me on Twitter. Details in the description below. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the rest of the videos in my channel while I hopefully recover from this damn cold.